Hello all, welcome back to another interesting session. In this video, we are going to see how to set up Orgo CD tool in a Kubernetes cluster and how to deploy or manifest files into a Kubernetes cluster using Orgo CD tool. So before jumping into the video, let's discuss a few points which we covered in our previous video where I have explained complete CI CD flow using different tools like GitHub, Jenkins, Docker and deploying into a Kubernetes cluster. And finally, the deployments are monitored through PGL stack that is Prometheus, Grafana and Loki stack. So for setting up the Orgo CD tool, I have spin up two EC2 instances and created a Kubernetes cluster out of it. So now let's log into the Kubernetes master and start the installation part of Orgo CD. So let's jump into the master now. So we are in the master node now. So let's check the number of nodes attached to it. So we can see that uh, master and the worker node are in ready state. So now let's install Helm first. So for installation of Helm, uh, use the following commands, which I'll paste in the description below. So installation of Helm is completed now. Now if we give Helm version, we'll get to see the version of Helm. And uh, now we'll add the repo of the Orgo CD to our Helm. So now Orgo CD repository has been added and uh, let's install Orgo CD now. You can name your release anything. Let's say it's my Orgo CD. And uh, if you can see uh, the installation is done. And uh, if you check for the pods, see uh, containers are getting created and let's wait for a few minutes now if you can see all are in running state and uh, as a part of setup we need to make few changes in the deployments split the deployments first and uh, we are going to make few changes in the deployment called my orgo cd server okay so for that use this command kubectl edit deployment We need to add hyphen hyphen insecure. So just add this insecure in the arguments and uh, save and quit. So now edit the service. So this is the service we are going to edit. type it is of cluster ip we are going to change it to node port so that uh, we'll get a random node port and uh, we'll create a load balance load balancer and uh, going to we are going to access the ui of orgo cd so now if we list the services earlier there was no node port now uh, see the type is changed from cluster IP to node port and we also got a node port uh, so we are going to create a target group out of it and uh, create a load balancer and access our Orgo CD UI so now initially uh, we need to retrieve a password that we'll get in the secrets so this is the initial admin secret so this will be the initial password uh, let's save it somewhere else in a notepad and now uh, we need to create a target group and uh, the target port will be 32440 so let's jump into the AWS console now so first let's create a target group pointing to the kubernetes master and the node port will be 32440 okay create a target group name it something or go cd target group and uh, port will be 32440 
and scroll down all the way click on next point it to the kubernetes master click on include as pending below and click on create target group so this will create a target group called orgo cdtg and now let's go ahead and create a load balancer so create a load balancer it is an application type and uh, let's name it something orgo cd alb and uh, scroll down all the way select any two ages and uh, choose uh, security group and the listener will be 80 protocol will be http pointing to the target group or go cd tg scroll all the way down and click on create load balancer so we need to wait for a few minutes uh, to get the status into available so that uh, we can access our orgo cd ui so now the status is active and uh, we can access our orgo cd ui so for that uh, copy the dns name and type http colon slash slash and page the url so orgo cd page is coming up so this is how our orgo cd dashboard looks like and uh, username will be admin and the password which we retrieved that uh, we have to use here that's it we are able to sign in into the orgo cd tool now so in the next part we are going to see how to deploy manifest files using orgo cd into our kubernetes cluster so just a quick recap of the steps that we followed from the very beginning first is to set up a kubernetes cluster ssh into the master and then install helm and add orgo cd repo to your helm and uh, install orgo cd and after installation is done the, the very first thing we need to do is edit the deployment of uh, orgo cd server where we need to add a term called insecure in uh, template specification block inside the containers and uh, after that we need to edit the service which is of type cluster ip we need to change it to a node port so that uh, will get a random node port uh, where we create uh, a target group out of it and uh, attach it to a load balancer and finally using the dns and name of the load balancer we have access the orgo cd ui once we access the ui uh, let's go into the settings and add the repository from which we are going to deploy our manifest files name can be anything uh, that might be a project let's say let's say it's a demo yes. and uh, pass your url so this is the github guys which we are going to deploy and uh, just click on connect see connection status is successful now let's start deploying our applications <coughs> so click on select new app and in the new app uh, give some name uh, so i'm going to deploy an tomcat server so i'm going to give the same name and uh, sync should be automatic rune resources and self heal we have to take and apply out of sync <coughs> only and uh, in the repository url we need to select this and uh, branch should be master because this is master branch and uh, path so my deployment files are in this folder tomcat folder so we need to give the path called tomcat <coughs> and uh, select the url of kubernetes namespace will be default and that's it scroll up click on create so if we click on the application uh, we can see the deployment which has been started and uh, let's jump into the cluster and see whether the application got deployed successfully or not so we are in the kubernetes master now let's check for the deployments initially let's uh, list the pods so if you can see uh, demo app which we have uh, 
deployed from the Orgo CD tool. Uh, the pods are running, and uh, let's check for the services. And uh, if we check the service, uh, it is of type load balancer, and uh, the node port we got is 31497. So, in order to access the application uh, which we deployed just now, that is uh, Tomcat server, again we need to create a target group pointing to the Kubernetes master, and the port should be 31497. And then we'll attach this to the load balancer and access the Tomcat UI. So let's jump into the console now. So let's select the target group and create a target group. Let's the target group name be Tomcat Server Target Group. And the target is 31497. And uh, scroll down, click on next, point it to the Kubernetes master click on include as pending and uh, click on create target group so this will create a target group for our tomcat server and next let's go to load balancers click on create load balancer click on create let's the load balancer name be tomcat alb and, uh, select to subnets availability zones and uh, select the target group and the protocol is http port is 80 pointing towards tomcat server so click on create load balancer and uh, We need to wait for two more minutes to get the status into active so that uh, we can access our uh, Tomcat server using the DNS name. So the load balancer is active now. Uh, let's copy the DNS name and uh, protocol is HTTP and paste the DNS name. So we can able to access the Tomcat UI. So this is how we deploy our applications using Orgo CD tool. So uh, another quick recap. After installation of uh, Orgo CD, what we did is uh, we have navigate, navigated to settings, we have added our repo and uh, the connection status should be successful and after that uh, you need to select the application, uh, create a new app, pass your uh, application name, project name, sync should be automatic and after that you need to pass your repository URL and your branch and the folder where your uh, manifest files are present and then click on create. So after this, uh, once you go into your cluster and uh, list for the pods and services, you will get to know your services are deployed or not. And uh, in our case, uh, Tomcat server got deployed and uh, we got a node port out of which we created a target group and attached it to a load balancer. And using the DNS name, we have accessed our Tomcat server. And that's it for the video guys. Hope you like this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, which will give me a lot of confidence and positive vibes to provide more and more genuine content like this. Thank you so much.